cocaine. So glycans. Right, so uh, glycan types, let's go to full screen mode. Let's start right at the start. Glycans are uh, compounds uh, which have uh, one or more uh, sugar residues in them and hence involve what we call a glycosidic bond, a link or links to uh, sugar residues. And the very simplest glycans are uh, disaccharides, which have uh, two sugar molecules coming together. Again, I'm not going to uh, tread on Gleb's toes here. He'll describe the glycosidic bond in, in, in some details, but basically got two sugar molecules coming together. Uh, and as a condensation reaction where a water molecule is released and then you have uh, this uh, glycosidic uh, bridge between this glycosidic link uh, between the, the two uh, molecules. And this is uh, uh, maltose, which is two glucose molecules coming together linked in alpha 1,4. This is carbon atom number one. This is carbon atom number four. One two, three, four. This is glucose here. This is sucrose, by the way, which is linked actually one, two, to a fructose uh, residue at carbon atom number two. And this is lactose, which is uh, lactose, uh, sorry, galactose linked uh, via a beta one, four link to a glucose molecules. So these are all glycosidic bonds. These are all uh, glycan uh, molecules. Then the next step in complexity uh, are oligosaccharides. These contain between three and nine uh, sugar residues uh, linked together by glycosidic uh, bonds. So uh, these two raffinose and statios come from uh, vegetable uh, sources. Uh, so uh, this one, raffinose, you've got a uh, fructose uh, residue here linked to a galactose residue, which is linked uh, through a 1,6 link to a glucose residue. So uh, two glycosidic bonds uh, in this trisaccharide. Statios, which is a tetrasaccharide for monosaccharide units. So you've got your fructose residue here, linked to uh, galactose, uh, and then a 1,6 link to another galactose residue, and a 1,6 link to a glucose residue. So you've got three uh, glycosidic bonds uh, in this uh, glycan. Then when you get to 10 residues and over, uh, we have uh, polysaccharides. I and mean, these are O-linked glycans because of this uh, O-link glycosidic uh, bond and uh, xanthan has a beta 1 for uh, glucan uh, backbone uh, and linked uh, by a carbon atom 1, 2, 3 to these uh, side chains coming up, or the complex looking uh, side chain, mannose, uh, that's a glucose uh, residue here. Uh, and this mannose is pyruvylated. This is a complex, um, very high molecular weight, millions molecular weight from uh, microbial or, or fungal uh, sources, xanthan. Uh, and then with these types of uh, uh, complex polysaccharides, uh, we tend to find a, a three letter nomenclature is a much more convenient way of representing these uh, structures. And this is uh, part of the convention. This is some of the key uh, monosaccharide uh, residues and the three letter abbreviations. So gluc is glucose, gal, galactose, man, mannose, glucnac, anacetylglucosamine, uh, galnac, anacetylglucosamine, Actually, these have more than three letters. Uh, new 5AC, that's uh, n acetyl uraminic acid, sialic acid. So these are just examples of the 
uh, simple three or more letter uh, nomenclature for uh, monosaccharides. And for example here, this, these are captured polysaccharides from group B uh, Streptococcus. This is one of the, uh, the bacteria, uh, dangerous bacteria for which uh, glycoconjugate polysaccharide vaccines have been generated against and uh, Thomas McCallum's project has been based on, 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 on these. And you can see how useful uh, the simple uh, notation or the three, four, five, six letter notation. Uh, imagine trying to describe these structures, uh, writing out the full uh, Haworth uh, projections. Now, can you all see the subtle difference between these two uh, serotypes of group, group B, Streptococcus? This one here and this one here. Can you want to spot the difference? Oh, was that that's right, Peter? Yes, uh, you can see the difference here. This one's got a one four link, and this has got a one three link. A subtle difference, but this can have a very important effect in terms of the uh, molecular recognition uh, structural uh, processes. This is, uh, glucose, galactose, glucose, galactose, n acetylneuraminic acid type of uh, sal salic acid. Mm. This is uh, uh, Glugnac here. Glugnac, uh, I mentioned that before, and acetyl uh, glucosamine. Mm. And then we get more complex structures, such as glycoproteins, where uh, the sugar residues are linked to protein molecules. And uh, here uh, we find that uh, these sort of uh, colour and shape. Uh, notation uh, is much more convenient. Now, this idea of using these sort of uh, representations came from Oxford, Oxford Glycobiology uh, Unit, and then uh, other notations appeared. And then a few years ago, I think it was 2014, uh, this notation was unified in terms of the SNFG, which stands for Symbol Notation for Glycans uh, Convention. So this is the notation that is now uh, used. So a blue circle will be glucose, yellow circle galactose, green circle mannose, red triangle fucose, which is this hydrophobic type of uh, monosaccharide with this methyl group here. Uh, Glucolacnac, N-acetyl, Glucosamine is a, a blue square. Uh, a yellow square is an acetyl galactosamine. Xylose, this star here. Uh, then you've got uh, an acetyl neuromedic acid, this purple uh, triangle, which is a type of sialic acid. And then uh, some more uh, diamond shapes. Uh, and then you've got this hexagon, so a complex looking. Uh, monosaccharide uh, residue here. So this is an example of the use of uh, this notation for describing these uh, N-linked glycans. Now N-linked means these are glycoproteins uh, where the sugar chains, these complex sugar chains, are linked usually through an um, asparagine residue on the amino acid. This has a nitrogen containing, it's like a sort of an amide side chain for asparagine. Uh, and uh, sometimes you get links to an arginine uh, residue, also has a nitrogen, but usually uh, asparagine. And uh, this is linked, N-linked, usually to a terminal glucnac uh, residue, the blue square here. And uh, you can see these are, uh, this is taken from Tony Caulfield's uh, lecture later on actually in the uh, in the course. See how this notation is quite useful in showing the difference between uh, oligomannose based structures. These are all mannose residues here. 
complex structures, manos, uh, this is Gluck, uh, uh, Glucknack, and these are in, uh, types of sialic acid uh, residues which are important in molecular recognition phenomena. Here's a fucose residue here, so-called hybrid. Again, here's your Glucknack residues and the manos uh, residues uh, here. So that's the uh, the colour shape representation for uh, complex structures involving uh, carbohydrates, uh, glycans, uh, and these are are all uh, glycoprotein structures, N-linked glycoproteins. You can also get O-linked glycoproteins such as mucins and Lev will be talking about these uh, next time, linked through serine and three or three three enine residues. Now, what's special about serine and three enine residues? Anyone know? Come on, guys. Supposed to be the MRES, the the creme de la creme course, and uh, I thought you might know your uh, amino acids. You certainly will will do. Uh, by the time you've finished our course. Well, serine and threonine have are characterized by having hydroxyl groups on the side chain. So the hydroxyl groups form the basis of uh, O-links through N-acetyl galactosamine, as opposed to N-acetyl glucosamine with N-linked uh, glycoproteins. And you hear the, these chains coming off as a a glucose residue there, sorry, a, a fucose residue there, hydrophobic, and uh, that's a sialic acid type of residue. But uh, Gleb will be talking about uh, these types uh, when he, and also Tony, I guess, when he gives his lecture, uh, when Gleb uh, gives his lecture on mucins uh, next time, and the various types of uh, mucins depending on the, the sources and the uh, genes that code the, uh, the, the protein backbone from which the sugar residues are built. But that, again, Gleb will talk about that. NB, antibodies can be N-linked or O-linked. The antibodies, uh, again, we haven't done this, but maybe you might have done these in your undergraduate uh, courses. Uh, they consist of FAB, 2FAB and 1FC domain. Uh, well, they can have more if the uh, IgM, IgAs and things, but uh, IgGs, 1FC, 2FAB domains. And uh, these can be glycosylated, uh, usually by N-link, but sometimes uh, O-linked through the FC mainly, or sometimes the, uh, uh, the FAB uh, fragments. And uh, Roy Jeffress, who is uh, the world authority on antibody glycosylation, is based at the University of Birmingham, uh, will be talking about this next semester, uh, the beginning of the uh, next semester, uh, when we do the antibody biotechnology module across the first three weeks of the uh, the February start to the spring uh, semester. Uh, and we can also get phosphoglycans. These are relatively rare, linked through uh, the phosphate or the phosphoserine residue. And also, also rarely, uh, C-linked glycans, carbon-linked glycans, linked through a carbon on uh, trypto, tryptophan, such as aloin. And even DNA and RNA are uh, glycans, uh, not because of the uh, the sugar backbone, that's sugar phosphate, so they're linked by uh, phosphodiester bonds rather than uh, glycosidic bonds along the, uh, the, the backbone. But with DNA and RNA, you find glycosidic bonds through the links to the uh, nucleotides from carbon atom one. So if it's deoxyribose DNA, 
then it's linked through carbon atom number uh, one to the, uh, the, 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 the basis. Uh, and if it's RNA, then uh, it's also linked uh, from carbon atom uh, number one to the, uh, the, the, the basis. But here you've got uracil uh, instead of thymine. Uh, and so cytosine, thymine and uracil, these are the uh, pyrimidines and guanine and adenine with the two benzoyl ring structures uh, are the purines. Remember from the DNA film, uh, Crick was getting mixed up and uh, Shargraf had to explain, and, well, in the film, they came across rather rudely, really, uh, what the differences uh, were. But with the uh, pyrimidines, cytosine, thymine and uracil, uh, the link uh, from carbon atom on the one on the sugar is by uh, position one on the, uh, the base uh, here. So it's actually sort of uh, for this, through this nitrogen here. And whoops, and with the uh, purines, it's linked through uh, number position number eight. So nucleic acids, DNA, RNA, are actually glycans uh, them, uh, them, 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 them themselves. So even DNA and RNA are glycans. Right, so I don't want to eat much more into Gleb's time. Just to say that uh, these are <laughs> a sort of recommended books uh, from uh, for me. This is a, a book uh, we did with uh, colleagues from uh, Norway. This is the second edition of an introduction to uh, polysaccharide biotechnologies, a bit about the uh, development of the the super tomatoes via uh, genetic modification and how uh, the the same effects are being produced by uh, selective breeding uh, technologies as a model for uh, a glyco vaccine there and some notations there these color notations uh, so uh, that there's copies of this available in the uh, the library if you want to buy a copy it'll fetch It'll cost you about 40 or 50 pounds, even the softback copy. And then there's this uh, book on complex carbohydrate structures, which we published based on a meeting we had at the Royal Society of Chemistry uh, a few uh, years ago, which uh, I edited as a Viking shipwreck uh, there. Now, I've actually put uh, a copy of this a link on the, uh, the Moodle uh, page, so uh, you can see this on the uh, the Moodle, and uh, just to see if yeah, okay. Let me just uh, change screens very briefly. Uh, let's just share. That, yeah, there's the Moodle. And uh, so uh, it's not completely up to date yet because we've got to add some of the uh, the lectures. There's Gleb's lecture on introduction to uh, carbohydrates. Uh, there's mine on uh, glycan uh, types. And uh, yeah, so much of the material that you, uh, you need, there's the link to the Stability of uh, of complex carbohydrate books uh, book 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 the uh, actually I put a link to the introduction to polysaccharidology uh, book there but again uh, these mustn't be distributed outside the, uh, the 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 Moodle because these are for uh, internal uh, use uh, only okay so with that uh, I will stop and. Uh, and you over to 
Claro. 